So let's take a look at an example of an analysis that I might want to share with other people. So here I have MATLAB and inside this folder I've got some uh, data about sunspots and I've got a script that performs an analysis on that data. So this looks like a lot of the, uh, the, the type of research um, scripts that you may have seen uh, or even created yourself. If I double click on this I can see the script and, and everything that it's doing. I've got some comments. It doesn't look too bad. And if I run it, then it produces a bunch of plots, figure one, figure two, three, four, and so on. And I can look through those. And if I refer back to the script, I can see um, uh, what these, uh, these figures are actually showing me. Now, let's imagine that I want to share this with the world. Now, in an ideal situation, you would have this um, under version control already with Git. Um, but Showing you how to do that would be the, uh, the, the subject of an entire um, webinar, I think, of its own. And so what I'm going to do is show you the absolute bare minimum to get into a slightly better place um, by using GitHub in the first instance. OK, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is sign up for a GitHub account. Now, these are completely free, so there's no reason why you shouldn't go ahead and do that. And if you want to follow along with the rest um, of this session, then you're going to need a free GitHub account. So um, go ahead and sign up for one if you don't have one already, or sign in if you already have an account. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to need to create a new repository. So here I am, I'm logged into GitHub with my username, Mike Croucher, and I'm going to click on a new repository. Give this thing a name, uh, let's call it uh, uh, sunspots, okay, and it's uh, my repo for my sunspot analysis. In the first instance, I'm going to make this um, private um, so that only I can see it, and uh, when I'm ready, I can I can easily change it to public and open it up to the whole world. But I'm going to do this um, private for now. I'm not going to create um, add any extra files. I just want to create a completely empty repository. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I now have my empty repository. And if I was using a Git version control, then the, there are sort of command line ways that I can start to add files to this. But I'm starting from the very beginning. Um, I'm assuming that, uh, that you've never used Git before. So I'm going to show you the very simplest way to get some code um, from MATLAB and onto GitHub. And what you do is from this page here, we just click on uploading an existing file. So let's do that. And then it says I want to drag some files here to add them to repository. So a very easy way I can do that, if I just move this browser window to the right, I can see my MATLAB files here. Let's click on, on this uh, sunspot analysis, drag it over to here, and then my sunspot dat, drag it over to here, okay? And then commit changes. And there it is, done. I've got those files now in a private GitHub, GitHub repository. And that is the simplest way of getting something onto GitHub. Now, even if this is all you do, it's still a reasonable start and a lot better than, than many people. You see, even today, it's a, a sad fact that a lot of people who do uh, computational research or data science or whatever and publish papers in various fields, they don't share their code and data. And this is a big problem. So even if this is all you do, it's a great start. But you can do so much more. Um, and you don't even need to, to leave the, the GitHub user interface to start doing a little bit more. One of the first things I'd recommend is to add a readme file. So we just click here add a readme and we can start actually adding some information about um, uh, what this these files are what the analysis is and, and so on and so forth and you do this in something called markdown and here's an example here where I create a title and a, a link and so on and so forth and I can preview what that will look like and then as I'm writing I can just click commit changes uh, when, whenever I finished and I can steadily start improving this GitHub repository. Going back over to MATLAB, 
Another upgrade that I want to make is I want to move from this traditional MATLAB script to something that's um, a lot richer, and that is a live script. So if you've not seen live scripts before, um, they can contain code, just like a normal script, but they can also can contain uh, text, graphics, movies, animations, all sorts. So it's a much richer um, experience for whoever's um, running your analysis. So just to very quickly give you an example um, of the kind of things you can do, let's uh, create a title. I'm copy and pasting this from somewhere else so you don't have to uh, waste your time watching me type, but you just want to get the idea. Um, so we do a title, let's add some text, and then we can add some code. So let's take that from our original script, uh, the loading and plotting section. Here we go. And then when I run that, um, it either goes on the side there or I can I can move it in line um, like this. And with a little bit more work, I can end up with uh, something like this. So now I've got the complete analysis in this live script, um, all of the uh, the code, the results, um, the plots, some nice text and so on, um, complete description. And then I can use elements of this to improve um, the readme file in uh, in GitHub. So let's um, go back over to GitHub. And so with a little bit more work, I can end up with a readme file that, that looks like this. So this includes um, text that explains what's going on with this code and data. What is this repository for? What's it doing? Um, I've got some uh, explanatory text um, explaining some of the history, um, links to uh, further reading. I've got code. I've got images and so on and so forth. So this is a much more richer experience for anybody that comes to this, this GitHub repository. Um, and I've got one other little trick um, up my sleeve as well. So I've got this thing here, run this analysis in MATLAB online, and then this little badge. And if someone clicks on this, then this will open up a MATLAB for them. And when MATLAB online um, opens, it gives me the opportunity to copy these files from the repository. So I click on the disclaimer. I understand the risks of saving and running code from an outside source. It's my code, so I'm very happy with that. I click Save and Open. And it gets the code and data from GitHub for me, and it opens up the, uh, the live script inside MATLAB Online. And so now I've got full access to all of the data and the analysis that was shared on GitHub. And I can also execute it as well. So I can do everything here that desktop MATLAB can do. So let's change this plot to red, for example, just to show that I'm actually running code um, for real inside my web browser. One of the things that I really like about this workflow is that this makes my complete analysis, all of the code, and data, absolutely everything, accessible to everybody in the world, even when they don't have a MATLAB license, as described in this blog post um, that I wrote here back in 2023. Okay, so there's still an enormous number of things that we could do to improve both the code and this GitHub repository. But if this is all you do, then we've still made a pretty good start. We've made the code available to the world so that they can download it, they can use it themselves in the web browser or on their own machine, whatever they want to do. We've, we've opened up our analysis to the world.